Hello scholars, this week we're going to create another animal texture portrait, but this time we're going to use different lines, shapes, and colors. So we're going to focus on um, the element of art of color as well. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do first, write my name on the top of the paper. And my name either is to be the left side or the right side. I'm going to flip it over. And the paper is going to be um, horizontal. The first thing I want you to do is you're going, we're going to draw the, um, the bird first. And in order to draw the bird first, we want to, we're going to draw the bird with a circle. Uh, shape. So I'm going to choose the biggest circle that I have here and this is a medium sized circle and you're going to draw the circle in the middle of the paper. So here's the circle. Now I'm going to draw the ears and the ears are going to be um, a smaller circle and that's going to be next to the bird and you want the circles to touch and now we're going to draw a line that is starting from the middle and curve so we're drawing a curved line so it's starting to look like um, a character. Um, so it looks like um, a character from Disney. If you know Mickey Mouse, we have the ears. But we're not drawing that. We're drawing the bird. So what we're also we're going to do is we're going to add some facial features. And we're going to add two oval eyes. and a a lovely beak and the beak is going to be curved it's not going to be um completely straight now i'm going to add some feathers on top one And two. And three. So three half ovals. And now we're going to draw the cheeks for the bird. And these are ovals as well. And now I'm going to draw some feet for the bird. And I'm just making sure that the feet have two curve lines. Now I want to draw the design patterns inside of my bird. So I'm going to start off with the um, inside of the bird. And what I'm going to use is a 
glue stick. And this is going to help with the small circles. Now, if you don't have a glue stick, that's okay. You just have to draw uh, small circles inside the bird. So I'm just placing them on the bird. And uh, so far I drew one, two, three. Um, we have four, five, Six, seven, eight. So we have eight circles. So eight circles all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ones on the side of these two, you do not have to do. I, did, I decided to uh, add some extra circles inside of the other circles. Now I'm going to move on to the ears. And I'm going to draw circle, circle here, circle here, circle here, and circle here. And now... I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to draw six circles. I'm going to draw six circles inside my right side circle. And I'm going to take my ruler because it's easier for me, but you don't have to use a ruler. Don't use a ruler. I'm going to draw some diagonal lines. inside of the circle. And once I drew my diagonal lines, now I'm going to draw my, so now that the bird is completely finished with the shapes and the patterns. Now we're going to move on to the branch. And the branch will start all the way on the left side towards the feet. So I'm going to draw a, a wavy curve line all the way past my circle. I'm going to make a small diagonal line and I'm going to go around, over, diagonal line, and I have another diagonal line. And the rest of the leaf. Now, for the leaf, I want to make some lines, some small vertical lines. And this is going to be for the pattern then I'm going to color okay and I keep making some small vertical lines on the inside
Great. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make some leaves. Now the leaves are curved. They're curved. So they start from the top, like a triangle, and you're gonna make and you're gonna go down. So we have triangle, curve line, curve line. Triangle, curve line, curve line. And do it again, triangle, curve line, curve line on both sides. Triangle, open triangle, curve, curve. And you can practice that. Curve line, curve, curve. It would be nice to add some leaves to the branch, but if you really cannot add some leaves, you don't have to. This could be this could be optional. During this time. And there we go. So this is the full drawing. Now I'm gonna take my marker. I'm using a black marker, but you can use a crayon or color pencil that's black. Or you can use a different color if you don't have black. Brown, gray, purple, or blue are great colors because they are dark. And they do not, uh, They don't, um, these colors do not need to uh, blend with the other colors. They are, they're outline colors. And I'm just coloring inside the bird's eyes. And And I'm going to finish the outline and then we're going to come back and start to color the bird in the branch. So now that the outline is done, I'm going to now go and color the inside of the bird first. And I'm going to make the inside of the bird's face a bright color, which is going to be yellow. Um, and then then I'm going to color everything that is um just inside of the bird's face first, and then color the bottom half. So I'm using markers, you can use color pencils or crayons for, for this project. So um, what I did was I took the uh, orange and the pink and I put it in uh, those two for the cheeks, then I took pink and red half for the beak, and then took the three cool colors for the feathers. Now I'm going to move down and I'm going to use blue for the um, for the bottom half of the bird. And I'm going to color this whole section with blue. Here I have finished the bottom half of the bird and so what I did was I took 
the blue and I took some colors, some rainbow colors, and I added uh, the colors to the circles and I left one white. Now I'm going to move on to the ears and how I'm going to get these done is I'm going to take my orange for this side and I'm only going to color just the inside of the ear using one color and I'm not coloring the circles anything I'm just leaving them white and then I'm going to for the next two um, colors I'm going to use is, the, is for this pattern here on my left side and see I'm just it's going to be green blue, green, blue, green again, blue, green, and blue. Now I'm going to color the feet using a green marker for the left foot. And for the right foot, it's going to be the yellow marker. And now for the branch, I'm going to use all the colors that I have. And I'm just going to start coloring um, the branch. I'm not going to, um, this. I'm not going to make it into any order. So I'm going to start off with uh, this color pink that I have, then red, and there's no correct order on these colors at all. And purple. And blue. Green. and yellow. And I can repeat the pattern or just start with a new color. But I'm going to keep repeating the pattern. I think that will look really nice. You can copy uh, my pattern or you could do your own pattern. So like I said, I started off with pink. Next color is red, then next color is orange, after orange is purple, then blue, then green. and then yellow. And then I'm going to repeat that one more time till I get to the end of the branch. So pink, red, and see I'm just coloring inside the lines, taking my time. Orange, uh, purple, and then blue. And for my leaves, I'm going to color these three blue.
I'm going to color these two green. And you can, if you're doing leaves, you can color the same colors I'm doing or do it differently. And I'm going to color these two with the yellow. Now, I'm going to color the background green, uh, but with light green. If you do not have, if you don't have light green, uh, because we use a lot of blue, I don't want to color the, the um, background blue. I'm going to do either uh, light green or dark green. 